Hey there guys here, it's Joker here, and today I'll be showing you some gameplay on GTA IV. Now basically I have um I've uh modded my GTA IV to the max and um I wouldn't say graphically guys, I haven't modded it at all, but uh I have modded it so it is like the game um DayZ. Now what I've done is I've gotten a mod the zombie mod, it's called Infection Liberty something or other. I've gotten a food, like a, a needs, life needs mod. I've also got a fuel mod, and um, let's see how this pans out. But this should be some good fun, and um, I'll put the links in the description, and uh, let's go. Alright, basically, um, I'll just click F7, and this starts up the zombies. So the zombies are going to have a little walk around, and uh, they'll start, the people are going to start running off and stuff like that. Um, let's see if I can find a zombie for you. Okay, this one there. And more and more will start spawning in. So you got a zombie attacking this lady here. They basically look, just look like drunk people. They haven't really added any textures for them, but um, then you can also add in other stuff. Like if I click N, I'll have survivors spawning in with me. And um, where is he? And see, this person's car has stopped working. So is this one. I'm gonna save him. Run, person, run! Oh god, that's on fire. Oh, I have to help this lady out. Oh, she's already gone. <laughs> she would have seen the fire and ran. But, um, let's take my ship box and, uh, let's have a drive around and show you some of the things in it. I've been playing around with this quite a bit, and, um, whoa, that was an explosion. And it's kind of, it's kind of fun, because it feels like you're in a, like a proper proper apocalypse because you know the zombies running around people are going crazy driving all over the place um you can change other things like hang on look at this um random pedestrian events which is like bandits coming in and attacking and like bandits um you know doing raids and stuff like that and cops having to hold off areas and stuff like that and SWAT coming in it's really neat and um if I do page up fires will be active like that <laughs> straight away explosions are going to start happening and stuff is just really going to start going crazy I help them out actually because I'm a nice person oh god that person didn't make it I'll save you see there's bandits there we got some bandits driving off let's go catch up to them screw the people they can get burnt tell me my cars there we go. Oh, he's turned into a zombie. He died and turned into a zombie. No! See, I can hear some gunshots down there. Yeah, see, there's a gunfight happening. Between cops and... Ah, uh, there's just some zombies down there on the beach. Also, as you can see on the left here, we've got, um... The fuel thing. Now it does go over the uh, the life um, needs and such, but it's still really, really helpful. And it's cool. It's, it does say it's going up, but it's actually going down. And when you do run out of fuel, it'll just the vehicle will just stop, obviously. Now, um, yeah, as I said before, I'll leave the mods in the dis um, the description. I'll tell you how to install them because I had some trouble. And um, I know Crazy Mac also had some trouble installing him too, so um, I can just help you out with that. We have reached the conclusion, my friend. <laughs> We've reached the conclusion, my friend. He's on fire. Oh! <laughs> he, just, he was on fire and he blew himself in the head when he fell to the ground. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, God! That thing is on... Fire! I'm gonna take this guy's here. Oh! Oh no, that poor person. I'll save you! Oh, maybe not. Oh, he had a gun on him. He was. Die, coppers! But yeah, as I was saying, I. Oh, Jesus. Here's one guy trying to fight them off. See now? I oh, see there? I'm feeling a bit hungry, it'll come up. Oh, look at this guy trying to fight off the zombies. Fight him off! Look at him, he's a beast. No! See, now he turns into a zombie. How cool is that? But, um, I need to find a vehicle. No! That's a horde right there. Well, that's not really a horde. They can actually get a lot bigger than that. 
Um, let's find a vehicle and uh, we got a bandit here. Let's dispose of him. Easy. Shit. There's more than one. And see, he'll get up probably and turn into a zombie. Let's get over a medic though. A hospital is not the place to be. Oh god! Help the people! Oh, there are so many zombies here. Ah! Oh, this place is catching on fire. On the ground, that's like puke. Oh, it's like a it's like a fire effect. That is amazing. Um, that comes along with the mod, obviously. But um, yeah, do check this out, guys. It's so worth it. Um, your time downloading it. It doesn't take that long. You just put the files in the right spot, which I'll show you later. And um, you, these mods are just whew, you'll enjoy. It, but you will need the GTA IV PC version, like what I have right now. You can't have PS3. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if it works with PS3. I don't think it does though. But, um, see, now my guy's hungry. I just filled up his, um, uh, food. It doesn't have a drink one, though. I know that. I think it's just food and drink equal the same one. But there's a sleep one. There's an entertainment one. It's really fun. If I click N here, I'll spawn in an NPC. And that guy is, um, my new partner in crime now. He's going to be called Jimmy, and he's going to be sticking with us. Oh, and this guy here. Oh, God. Bandits. They're probably raiding the hospital in up with us. Oh, these guys have got armor. These are full of military guys. Trying to raid us. We got back as a, up as a zombie. But uh, here's Jimmy and here's Philip. Um, and basically you can just spawn in as many as them as you want. Um, I'm not sure about all the controls. Here's I. It does do faster zombies and also brings up an inventory which can be annoying but what can you do? Um, all zombie speeds, you can change the speed, slower, faster. Um, Y removes your existing members. Um, this guy is going to be my new guy. I accidentally, I didn't mean to do that. Um, B, you click and survivors will just randomly join you. If they find you on the street, they'll just be like, hey, what's up, nigger? Um, yes, I said nigger. And, uh, oh, that, there's a lot of zombies here. Ah. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, God, I can't remember every... Okay, I've also got a drug mod, but you guys probably don't need that. <laughs> I, I don't know why that's there. Damn. Ah, what the... He became a civilian again. He was cured! Huzzah! I'm coming, partner! Yeah! Ah, oh, then look, we got a cop burning to death out here. Put him out of his misery. See, now I'm feeling a bit tired, so let's go back to the safe haven, get some rest. And just basically resting is just, you just save, but don't save it. Just say not save. Oh. That guy has a gun, and he doesn't look safe. Come here, you scumbag. This guy wants to... Ah. No! Jimmy! Ah, oh, crap! Ah, Oh, I shot Bill. <laughs> I mean, Jimmy. I almost called him Billy. Really, the other guy lived. Oh, he's turning into a zombie. This happens. So let's take this guy's money. Oh, that didn't work. That's a chick. Whoa, that bitch was loaded. Explode. Whoa, lady down. You okay, bitch? Bitch? You okay? not okay. See, now I've got... Oh, there's a full-on conflict happening. Bandits versus Republic of Survivors versus bloody cops. Oh! God. Oh, look, it's a prisoner that made it out. Let's help the prisoner. What the f what? Oh shit! Let's help that prisoner out. There he is. Ah! Oh! Or not? He can just shoot me in the in the head. 
mods. This is an example for all where you're going to place all these mods. They're all script mods, so they all go to the same location. So this is an example, and you do this with every single one. You go download now, go to downloads, place it as a zip file, and just as it is. That'll download. Then you go to downloads, where it is. See, it's right there, okay? So what you want to do is right-click on it, go to open with, then go to WinRAR, that's really important. When you open it with WinRAR, this is one of the most important things if you don't understand how to extract things, um, which is basic, pretty basic. You just do, alright, so extract to, click OK, it doesn't matter what, it, as long as it's in the download file, which you don't know what about, just do what I just did. Click on this, the README does tell you how to install it, but this is for guys who don't understand that. So what you're going to want to do is you want to highlight the three, these three. Anything that you don't want to download, um, you don't want to highlight the README on any of the mods. Just highlight this. You're going to copy it. You're going to go to wherever your Steam is. If you if your GTA IV is on Steam, which I think I'm pretty sure it only does. So you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common. And then what you're going to want to do is go to GTA IV. GTA IV. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. Now, you got to go to scripts. Actually, it's not tricky at all. What am I talking about? And just paste. Paste everything in there. You can see mine already in there. That's all you got to do. Just paste all your mods. Make sure you don't paste the readmes. Just paste it in there. That's all you got to do. Ready? Paste. Done. See, I'm going to get rid of it because I already have that. But... That's all you gotta do with script mods. Now with graphics mods, I'll tell you another day, it'll probably be in my next video. But this is all you need to know right now. There you go. You got a zombie mod. You got DayZ. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your Steam, click play. Make sure it's not opened when you do all this too. You open it, oh that's getting bright. Cause I got game boost, I don't know why it makes it all bright. And then you click play and there you go. And I you, have a look in the readme for controls. F7 is to start the zombie apocalypse and page up and there's all these different buttons but F7 if you want to start the zombie apocalypse. Alright, that's all you gotta do and I put the link um the links in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed this video today and uh, this is my first ever tips video and my first ever kind of video about something I want to teach you guys and something that I want to show you because it's an amazing mod and I really enjoyed it. Alright. Bye bye. Zombie.